So now let's do a serving example and what we will do is use the coordinate method to find the area of a closed traverse. So what we're finding is essentially this entire area here of this closed traverse. So we have a four-sided closed field traverse is shown below with the following coordinates. So we start at point one, this is point two, point three, point four, the, then we end at one. And we're given the coordinates. So at one, it's zero, 100, zero in the X, 100 in the Y. You can think of this as northing and easting. In this case, it's X1, Y1, two, X2, Y2. We're given the coordinates. We're given the coordinates for three and for four. So we are told the area of the closed traverse using the coordinate method is most nearly what? What is this area? So what we will do is use just that method, the coordinate method, and it's in the handbook. And it's specifically on at the end of the handbook under the civil engineering section and it's under the section called latitudes and departures on the new handbook on page 308 so will it will be under the area formulas and we're looking at area by coordinates so we know we take an entire value in brackets and we divide it by two so that's what we're doing. We have to divide that value in brackets by two. So what I'm going to do is propose a different way to look at this. Because in the handbook, that equation can look messy and quite confusing. So the way we will solve this question is first denoting two rows. We know we start at x1, go to x2, go to x3, go to x4, then end back at x1. We have to close that traverse, right? or else we do not have an area, a closed area. So we have to start at x1 and end at x1. So we will draw this as the first row. So we know this will be x1, x2, x3, x4, then we end back at x1, right? We start at x1 and we close at x1. It's a closed traverse. So that will be the top row. So I'm going to denote two rows, the top row and the bottom row. The bottom row is going to be for the y values. So we just do y1, y2, y3, y4, then we end at y1. So we have these two rows. So now let's fill out the appropriate values. So we're doing this to use a certain method and to visually solve using the coordinate method. So we have the top row, bottom row, and let's put the values. So x1 is 0. We know x2 is 350, x3 is 400, x4 is 200, and x1 again is 0. So we plug in the 350 for x2. Then we plug in x3, which is going to be the 400 x4 is going to be this value, so 200, then we end at 0. Then the bottom one is going to be y1, so it's 100. y2 is going to be 250. y3 is going to be 150. And y4 is going to be 50. Then we end back at y1, again, it's 100. So we have the top row and the bottom row. This should always be the first step you do when we're looking at these coordinate method questions for surveying. So then what I propose is something similar to the cross product. You might recall this. So what we do for these questions is essentially the following. We take 0 times 250 minus 100 times 350. Then we do plus 350 times 150 minus 250 times 400. Then we do plus 450 times 50 and you get the point here. But we'll do it step by step. So let me erase this. Erase the ones in red. So we have that. So let's start with 0 times 250 minus 100 times 350. Don't forget that minus. So I'll write this. So we know the total area, it's going to be 2 times the area. That's why we divide by 2 at the end, which we will show. So we do 0 times 250. We'll use red. 0 times 250 minus 100 times 350. 100 times 350. Close per open parentheses, close parentheses. And that's taken care of. Now we move on to the next step. 350 times 150 minus 
the 250 times 400. So we do plus, don't forget this plus. Now we do the one in green, so we do 350 times the 150 minus 250 times 400. Close parentheses. We move on to the next step. So we do the this color, let's do pink. So we do 400 times 50. 400 times 50 minus 150 times 200. So we do 150 times 200. And close parentheses. And the very last one is going to be this one, right? So we do 200 times the 100 minus 50 times 0. So we do plus and I'll put this down here so let me put dots here so we do plus this value of 200 times 100 and we do minus don't forget it's always minus 50 times 0 and close that so that is going to be always what you do and we know at the end we're going to take that whole value which is essentially the value on top in the FE handbook using that equation divided by 2 we divide by 2 at the end. So let's do the math for all of this. So if I do the math for all of that in the calculator, so I'll do it real quick. So 0 times 250 minus 100 times 350. Then we do plus 350 times 150 minus 250 times 400. Then we do plus 400 times 50. Then you do minus 150 times 200. Then you do plus the 200 times 100 minus 50 times 50, 0. So we have that. So we get a negative value. So don't worry about that negative. The It's going to be an absolute value for that top portion. So you just put that value of 72,500. And we know this is 2 times the area. So to get rid of this 2, we divide by 2. What you do to this side, you must do to this. So the area in this case is that value here divided by 2. So we take the 72,500, divide that by 2, and we get about 36,250. And the units, it, it might be feet squared or meter squared, for example. So this will be the area using the coordinate method. So that's our answer, and in this case, it should be C. That's it. Thank you.